Welcome to episode 178 of Region Rovers, where today we're going to be taking on PSG in the Champions League semi-final. The first leg will be played at Mark Ball Park. We're also taking on Chelsea in the Premier League. Massive match. Since you last left me, we've managed to win two games and draw one. We're in second place still in the Premier League, but only one point behind Spurs. However, we do have a game in hand. Unfortunately, we were unable to move above them after this 3-3 draw against Arsenal. Anthony scored a hat-trick, two penalties and one goal from open play. This is his goal from open play. He's on fire at the moment. He scored in the last three games. Boris crossed it in and Anthony slid in and, and scrambled it over the line. Unfortunately, we beat Man City away from home. Two goals in the first 10 minutes, one of which was from Anthony. Really good finish. The other goal was from Navarretti, our other striker, of course. Took it down nicely and applied the finish. So, Premier League-wise, this is where we are with three games left to go. We're one point behind Spurs, but with that crucial game in hand, we've still only lost one league game all season, which was against Tottenham. Uh, long way ahead of Arsenal. We're definitely finishing second. But our last three games are tough. Like I said, we've got Chelsea today in today's episode, 11th though. So, maybe it's not as tough as the name suggests. They've not had a great season. The other two games possibly are tougher because Everton are in sixth and West Ham are in fifth. So it, it has been a tough end to the season. West Brom was the easiest of the lot before taking on Arsenal in third place. Men's City, of course, have got so much talent. They've bought loads of players, been really, really good in the save. Not as good as Spurs though, mind you. And then Chelsea and Everton and West Ham. So it has been a really, really tough end to the season. So if we do win the league, We've won it the hard way. I know you take on every single team in the league twice, but we've had a really tough end to the season. Antonello has been fabulous. 21 clean sheets. Our defence has been very, very important this season. And they're going to have to be really important today against PSG. So the lineup I'm going with for this first match at home against PSG. Antonello in goal. Laurent at right back. Andre Chenka, am I going to show you all the players? I'm not going to show you all the players. Andre Chenka, Rodriguez, Matt Smith, Boris, Vandenbroek, Kotasek, Moore, Navarretti, and Anthony. <sighs> this is such a big day. Uh, just to let you know the schedule over the next few days, uh, the penultimate episode. Oh, well, I'm hoping it's the penultimate episode of this season. Of course, if we don't beat PSG and qualify for the Champions League, it will be the last episode of the season. It will be the, the those last two league games. See if we can win the league. If we get through to the Champions League final, then that will be a separate video. That will be episode 180, and it will be a YouTube premiere. You'll be able to watch it along with me. I will obviously be pre-recorded, but we can get involved in the chat. And it, Just like old times. Just like from Football Manager 2019 era. That, that year of just uploading Regen Rovers. It'll be like old times. It'll be enjoyable. Anyway. Let's get on with this first match against PSG. Let's have a look at this PSG team then. It's full of world-class talent, all legendary players. This legendary goalkeeper has 177 caps for France. They're a similar outfit to Atletico Madrid in that sense. Both those teams have dominated in terms of signing the best players, signing the world-class talent, spending huge amounts of money. And if I just go through, they've got some older players. They've got a few young and a few old, but they're all either world-class elite or legendary that's the media description they have so it's going to be very tough but we beat Atletico Madrid and they had similar players so can we do it again can we replicate that I hope so at home you want to win you want but you also don't want to concede away goals that's the other thing so oh, it's, 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 it's tricky I'm going to go with balanced to start with and we'll see how we got on. Mark Ball is on the bench, by the way. Suffolk Kalechi is injured. So we might have to rely on the old man. Our, our legend. Our legendary striker. He might not be described by the media as a legendary striker, but he's a Regen Rovers legend. Free kick to PSG then. Ramos takes it. Comfortable save for Antonello, who catches it. And we've not had a single shot so far, but maybe maybe we'll have one here. Antonello smashes it clear. Navarrete. Oh, he almost nicked that, didn't he? And then he was through. Here's um, Simon Moore back into the team after his injury. Running at the PSG defence. It's found Anthony! Puts it over the bar. He's on fire at the moment and you'd have fancied him with that opportunity. Wasn't a clear cut, clear cut chance whatsoever, but I don't know. Everything he's hitting at the moment, I'm expecting to go in. Here's Cotter second to Matt Smith. Into Simon Moore. Back post. Andrei Chenko open to put us 1-0 up against PSG. 
Our Ukrainian has come into this team and been so solid. He has been brilliant at the back alongside Isidoro Rodriguez. It was so important, I think, to just build a, a unstoppable, not unstoppable, uh, unbreakable centre-back partnership. And they've just been brilliant. Here's Antonello knocking it long up the pitch. And after that long ramble about my centre-backs, you know, they, they score goals as well. That's the other thing. It's not just about their defence. They're able to score goals. But they've been broken here. But Antonello with a fantastic save. But the goal's open. Antonello ran after it for some reason. And it's 1-1. They've got their away goal. It did just waft through my defence. Commentator's curse, I think. Off we go then. It's about to be half time. Laurent steps in, but he's only cleared that as far as Ramos and the rest of the team were asleep. Tipped over the by, by Antonello, but we've got a late corner here for PSG. Can we hang on? Look at the uh, Regen Rovers Ultras. That's headed over. The fans are happy. 1-1 one, one at half time, that's okay. Obviously, I'd preferred not to have conceded, but I'm pleased that we're able to score against this PSG team. It's, it's encouraging, I guess. We've had to do this Champions League the hard way. Atletico Madrid in the quarterfinal, PSG in the semi, probably the two richest clubs that I've seen, other than Spurs. Spurs have obviously dominated, and they might get through to another Champions League final. Here's Van den Broek into Anthony. Anthony hits it. It's off the post. So unlucky. I'm going to say get creative, because it always works. It's like a cheat. Look at that doesn't last very long, but it always helps the body language. Here's Matt Smith. Long throw. Headed away, though, and now PSG can break because we've got no one on the edge of the box there. And he's running out of back four. Oh, look at him go. He's... Oh, dear. Me talking about my brilliant centre-back partnership, and he's just waltzed his way past both of them. What a player this guy is. Nakuri scored the goal, and he's 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 dangerous. What What do we do? How do we stop him? I mean, is there any point pressing and tight marking? Because he's just going to take advantage of that. That's probably why my assistant suggested not to do that. Here's Antonello. Will he knock it long? He's wasting a bit of time here. Eventually knocks it long. We're looking for... Oh, it's freezing up a bit here. Here's Simon Moore running down the left. Crossing in. Anthony Shawley. Yes! Yes! Antonello, I thought for a moment, was wasting far too much time. I thought, get on with it. If you're going to hit it long... Knock it early, but in the end, he's patient. And yes, we rely on a really poor defensive header. And Simon Moore capitalises. And Anthony, Anthony finishes. Wow, his 33rd goal of the season. Oh, Boris, oh, he's a little bit injury prone, is our world-class winger. Novak's going to come on. Do we bring on Mark Ball for Navaretti? It's tempting. 20 minutes to go. We're keeping it on balance. We're not wasting any time at the moment. Oh, oh I should have brought my... Oh, never, oh, injuries. Injuries are coming to play here, aren't they? Uh, we're going to play him as a, a poacher. Anthony's going to come deep now as a deep line forward. And we're going to waste a bit of time. Just try and hang on here. Ray Henriquez will come on. If we get a late free kick, you got to fancy him to stick it in the back of the net. So, it looks like, with 20 seconds to go, we're going to have a goal advantage going into the second leg. That's good. They've got the away goal. Yes, but we are winning. And we, if we keep a clean sheet in Paris, then we are going through to the Champions League final. A few seconds to hang on here, though. Hopefully I don't regret saying all of that. Yep, it's fine. It was a, a through ball, but the whistle went. And we have won 2-1 against PSG. Two assists from Simon Moore, a goal from Andre Chenko, and a goal from Anthony. <sighs> that is a big win. So I've made loads of changes for this Chelsea match. Some of them forced. Boris is out injured. I don't think he's going to be back in time for PSG match. Navaretti should be, but he's not fit enough today. Andre Chenko needs a rest. Safak Kalechi's out injured. And I thought, let's rest the rest of the team. I know we need to keep on winning. But Chelsea are down in 11th. Hopefully my second string will be good enough to beat Chelsea. They're on 45 points. Liverpool as well. How have they reached the Champions League semi-final Liverpool when they're in 12th? It's quite an odd season for both those clubs. Spurs are taking on Man United, who are down in 8th. It really is quite a strange season. It's, it's a new era in English football, that's for sure. Spurs have won the league four seasons in a row. Regen Rovers are up at the top nowadays. Arsenal and Man City, not that great, but they're somehow clinging on to a fourth place. West Ham and Everton and Wolves all having good seasons, so it is very different now. Anyway, lots of changes. Ray Henriquez is in. Rios, Gale, Fran, Novak, Aloisi, Martinez, Lenz. 
Anthony keeps his place because he kind of I kind of have to play him. The other striker is Joel Kenny, who he signed in the summer for three million pounds, and I think he's a bargain because look at him. He's 16 years old. His physical's fantastic. He's only played one Hampshire Senior Cup game this season, strangely. Uh, lots of under-23 football, of course. I really like the look of this striker. And as I've said before, at the end of the series, I will upload the last save file. So if anyone wants to continue the Region Rovers journey, the Region Rovers adventure, this man might be a future star for you. Hang on to him, because he's already a lot better than what Mark Ball is right now, of course. Uh, and he's not that far off being a first team regular, I don't think. So this Chelsea team then, Gary up front, Guido Gary or Gary, something like that, is actually really, really good. Look at him. What a player, Paraguayan international. On the right hand side, they've got some quality players. Uh, but the thing is that the Premier League is full of quality players. They've got an English legend in, well, not really legend, 34 cups. I've seen him around quite a lot, Paul Harris. Uh, left hand side is Spanish international. They've got some they've got some good players, so I have no idea. Some of which are world class. I have no idea how they're down in mid table. Let's go. In fact, let's go attacking from the start. Let's let's take the game to Chelsea. I'll be okay with a no, actually a draw's not good enough. If we draw we're we're reliant on um Spurs slipping up a bit if we draw. So we do need to win. Oh, chance here. It's found its way to Aloisi. Aloisi. It's cleared. Thought that might be a penalty then, but it's not. Martinez into Aloisi. Into Novak. Back to Aloisi. Martinez on the ball now. Good ball out wide. Franz running forward. Can he cross it in? He does. Anthony! Oh, it always found its way to Kenny. Spurs aren't playing. In fact, we're the only team playing right now. 26 minutes in. Martinez to Lenz. We've only had one shot so far. In fact, Chelsea have only had one shot as well. And that is a vicious tackle, but a strong and okay tackle, according to the ref. Here's Gary. Garay, back to their left back. It's a great cross and it's far too easy for Mustafa. But we've won a corner. Can we get back into it here? Here's Fran. Into Kenny. Oh, looking for his first goal. And his, it's not his debut technically, but it's his first ever Premier League game. Well, that's a disappointing half of football. But am I surprised considering I've put out a second string? I probably shouldn't be surprised. Keeping the faith though. Here's Martinez. Ray Henriquez crosses it in. It's cleared as far as Novak. Someone have a shot. Novak back to Henriquez. Not the greatest cross. Anthony picks up the pieces and finds uh, uh, Lens. And yes, we've scored Anthony. Anthony gets his 34th goal of the season. It's like a really long 1-2 between Anthony and Lens, wasn't it? He crossed it out wide and then it was whipped in by Lens and Anthony applied the finish. Oh, the other games have appeared now. That's weird. Spurs currently drawing. So if Spurs draw and we draw, it's not the end of the world. We've still got that game in hand to try and overtake them. Here's Martinez. Back to Mark Gale. Into Martin. They're just passing it between each other here. Do something different, lads. Come on. It's to Fran. Fran over the halfway line. Running at the Chelsea defence. It's through to Anthony. Out wide to Lenz. Lenz crosses it. Headed away as far as Aloisi. Aloisi to Novak. Novak has the shot. It's off the post. Oh, so unlucky. And now a corner to Chelsea. Whipped in back post. And ah, oh, it's just over the line. We're going to make some changes. One change, that is. Cotisek's coming on to try and save this game. Maybe here's a chance. Fran, long way out. Finds Lens. Lens into the box. Cotisek. Oh, oh, he's drilled that in. This is a crucial goal. What a goal as well from Kotasek. Fran into Lens. Back to the edge of the box for Kotasek to just smash it. It was so clean. Right along the ground. Beautiful goal. Lens now with a corner. Can we turn this game around? Rios, we've won a penalty and Anthony has the chance to put us 3-2 up and turn this game on its head. Come on, Anthony. Stick it in the back of the net. This is a massive, massive moment for Region Rovers. Up he steps. And he hits it straight at the keeper. But there's still a chance. No. Ah. How's Spurs doing? They're still drawing 0-0. The game's trying to make it as difficult as possible for us. So we're going to bring on the super sub. That is Mark Wall. He's coming on for young Joel Kenny. He's born for these moments. We're currently one point behind Spurs. But we still have that game in hand. But we're reliant on Tottenham not winning here. A few minutes to go. Headed away by Fran. 
headed back into the box. Gale clears, but not very well. Here's Garay into the box. Good save, Antonello. It's been a good game, this, actually. 2-2. Two, two. Missed penalty, though, by Anthony. That is a blow. And, oh, it froze. It freezes so much on FM19. Just a few seconds to go. I'm just praying that Spurs haven't scored against Man United. Oh, great save by Antonello at the death again. They've clearly had more quality on the pitch than us today. They've got world-class players. This was our second string. Yes, I've made a few subs, a couple subs in this game to improve the team. One sub, Kotasek. Can't say Mark Ball has necessarily improved the team. Sorry, Mark Ball. I love you, really. That is the full-time whistle. What has happened in the other game? Let's find out. Oh, that is a relief. Man United nil, Tottenham Hotspur nil. It's still in our hands. If they'd won that and we're drawn, there'd have been very little hope. So it does mean our game in hand against Everton in the next episode is absolutely massive. And Everton a fourth, West Ham a seventh. You know, it's going to be tough last two games, but we will be putting out hopefully our strongest lineup possible. But that is a massive, massive game in the history of Region Rovers. If we win it, we go into that last game in first place. We've been playing catch up for a long time because, of course, we've had this game in hand. So we've been second behind Spurs for so long. We've had the opportunity. If we'd won today, we'd have overtaken them because Spurs slipped up, of course, against Man United. But we slipped up against Chelsea. It's like the, the game is trying to make it as difficult as possible for me to win this Premier League. Please, 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 please. Let us win. Let us get through to the Champions League final. Send good vibes for me, please. I know it's already happened for you, but send them anyway. It's my strongest team that I can put out, other than Boris. Boris is injured. Novak is going to have to play. Ah, oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Okay, let's do this. Let's go with the media thing. It just, it works. I'm contemplating which tactic to use. I've currently got it on balanced. Do we go defensive? I might regret that. I know it's been solid for us, but I kind of feel like we need a goal it's almost guaranteed that PSG will score, which means we have to score. We're not going to keep a clean sheet even if we go defensive against them. I just don't don't think it's possible for us. Having said that, it is very good at getting clean sheets. I'm going to go with the balanced one. We're going to go for it. Out we step onto the PSG pitch. We're in our huddle. We're ready. We're going. Come on, please. Football manager God, smile on us. Here's Simon Moore. Early attack from us. Keeping hold of the balls back to Matt Smith, and that's blocked. And we've got a highlight straight away. God a sec, to Matt Smith. Does well. It's into Navaretti, can't quite grasp it. Just back from injury, remember. Here's Andrechenko. Into Laurent. Out wide to Novak. Novak puts an early ball in, and it's easily caught by the keeper. He was aiming for Navaretti. That's chucked. Oh, but Matt Smith intercepts brilliantly. Matt Smith, back to Simon Moore. What's he going to do? I think he's going to have a shot. It's a good save. It was a good, powerful strike with his weaker right foot. And the keeper had to turn it around the post in the pouring rain. Here's Kotasek then. Corner whipped in. Cleared. And Anthony's after it. And that will probably be the end of the highlight. Vandenbroek. Maybe not. It's into to Simon Moore. To Navaretti. Navaretti turns. Another good save. Wasn't a clear or half chance, but it was a decent effort from Navaretti and their keepers had to pull off two good, solid saves early on in this game. Matt Smith after it again. This has been a really long highlight to open proceedings in this match. Simon Moore, this will probably now fizzle, surely. Matt Smith, there's there's not much... Yeah, there we go. Positive start, though. I think I was right to, to go balanced in this match. Here's Kotasek to Novak. We can always go to the defensive one if we grab a goal or two. It's out wide for Simon Moore. What's he going to do? It's back to Novak. You can't win the ball. and But Laurent does really well. Kotasek swivels to Moore again. He's been heavily involved. And he's going to have another shot. And it's a brilliant finish into the bottom left-hand corner of his weaker foot. This time, he does beat the PSG keeper. And we have been all over them from the start. That was a deserved goal. Have a look at this again. This is a fine finish. Kotasek did a little swivel. Then Simon Moore took charge, dribbled. You're thinking, maybe he should be finding a striker. But in the end, he finishes like a striker. And we've got the away goal. If we score a second, then we have a big advantage. 
and I want to score a second here, so we're going to keep going. That is such an important goal, and to get it early on is a massive, massive help. PSG, though, with uh, an opportunity here. Nakori, oh, that was as close to the post as you can get without hitting it. 24 minutes in, we're 3-1 up on aggregate, and we've got an away goal. They've got an away goal too, but they don't have a chance of scoring another, another away goal, of course. We do. Here's Baggio. Dribbling. Knocking it long. Easily defended by Isidoro Rodriguez. Kotasek back to Rodriguez. And he plays it in to Matt Smith. And we're probably going to go back to the keeper here if we're sensible. Yes. Back to Antonello. We can just waste a bit of time here. Uh, yep, he's <laughs> doing a good job at wasting time. Blasts it long. Uh, but PSG. Oh no. Kovacic is through. And it's 1-1. And their injured strike has got them back into this. It's 3-2 on aggregate not ideal I said they would score corner to PSG Nakori back to the edge of the box great def great tackle by Anthony but it's crossed back in and oh it's safe but it's in we're level it's 3-3 three, three on aggregate they're winning 2-1 Antonello parries a shot into the path of Baka Baka roll back or something like that and uh, really positive starts this game but we've conceded two goals and now it's completely level. I'm going to bring Aloisi on. For, actually, I'm going to bring Martinez on for Vandenbroek. Move Kotasek to the box-to-box -to -box midfielder role. I might actually go with this for the rest of the season. I think they're our best two central midfielders. Oh, throw an opportunity. Matt Smith with a long throw, but it's into the keeper's hands. And Asamba throws it out. And, oh, dangerous play at the back. Uh, and But they've managed to escape our uh, trap. And Ramos now on the ball into... Vanston Gist, something like that. Out wide to Rio. And he finds... This is quite a slow build-up from PSG. It's just about kept in there. I sense a goal just because it's slow build-up and they're keeping possession. Nikori. Oh, oh, he's through. Good save by Antonello and it froze again. Why does it keep freezing? Nikori with the corner. And Antonello, good goalkeeping this time. Oh no, this is horrible. Nakuri with a very kick. It's off the bar and it's, I think it was offside anyway, or a foul of some sort. Oh, another freak. What is going on? Ramos. Oh, it's a brilliant save. And it's cleared. <sighs> Novak's not playing particularly well. I'm tempted to bring Ray Henriquez on there because he can take a free kick. He's got 16 on free kicks. It's been, I mean, PSG have been getting free kicks, so maybe we'll get one at some point. Laurent, 20 minutes to go. Kotasek to Henriquez. Whips in a good ball. Penalty, surely. And Anthony has the chance to make amends for the last game. Come on, Anthony. Stick it in the back of the net. Get that second away goal. Up he steps. And he scores this one. Oh, that is a massive, massive goal. And such a relief for him and for us and for you. Now we're going to the defensive tactic. And... Quite brilliantly, we've got two right backs on, so that's worked out nicely. We're going to time waste. We won't distribute quickly. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just let the defensive tactic work its magic. Because they need to score... If they score a goal, then it's 4-4. But we're winning on our way goal, so they need to score twice in its current situation. The keeper did his very best to get to it, but it was just too powerful and in the top right-hand corner. Great penalty in the end, I suppose. Corner to PSG though. Nakori crosses it in. And it's off the crossbar. This is tense. Could be worse. It is tense though. Nakori with a corner. Cleared. Not very well though. This is still a chance for Baka. Is that way to Nakori? Nodded on. And it's... Oh, it's battered in. It's 4-4. We're winning on away goals. But this is... Oh, it has to make it so difficult for us, doesn't it? It just has to. I'm bringing in... Oh, if it goes to penalties... It can't go to penalties. It, it cannot go to penalties now. We're bringing on a Loisi, an extra midfield... I know, right. Let's bring on Rios and put him defensive midfield as an anchor man. Just sit there. Block everything. Time waste whenever possible. I'm just doing everything I possibly can. Uh, this is... Uh, <laughs> A few minutes to hang on. Very defensive it is. Five minutes of injury time. It's going down to the wire. Oh no, free kick at the death. Headed away. Matt Smith, just clear it. Martinez, get rid of it. There we go. 15 seconds. 
15 seconds and we're in the Champions League final. <sighs> well, this is, this is horrible. The drama, the scenes. We've done it. We're into the Champions League final on away goals. Anthony's penalty sends us through. <sighs> what an unbelievable achievement. How have we been Atletico Madrid and PSG? Two teams full of world-class, legendary players. And we've done it. We've beaten both of them. And we're through to the Champions League final. That is unbelievable. Oh, we can dream. We can dream of winning the Champions League. We're going to be playing at the Santiago Bernabeu as well. And we need to go and find out who we're going to be facing in that Champions League final. I've just realised we're playing Everton in two days. That is ridiculous. So I'm going to have to put my second string team out against Everton in a massively crucial game. Or just play my first choice and hope they can play. Hope they can perform after an epic Champions League semi-final. Here we go then. Just continue and let's see who wins. That is unbelievable. How have Liverpool won 4-0 against Spurs? Well, we're not going to have the, the showdown that I was expecting with Tottenham Hotspur, but I'm actually pleased with that. We're taking on Liverpool, who are currently 13th in the Premier League. I'm guessing they have focused all their attention on the Champions League and they've got a world-class striker up front. Can I remember him? Daniel Porter, 125 goals and 140 games for Canada. Acosta, another world-class striker. They've got world-class talent. They just haven't performed in the league for whatever reason, despite the talent that they have. Quite strange. But there we go. It's going to be Regen Rovers versus Liverpool in the Champions League final of 2037. But will we be will we be going into that as Premier League champions? You will find out in the next episode, which will feature the last two games of our Premier League season, possibly the last two league games of the series. Thank you for watching. Until next time, enjoy FM19 and FM20. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.